weird, wonderful, and quite often successful ways. 180. It's a pretty successful start for Naguera in leg two. Wins for Jesus against... 140. Ricky Evans, which we witnessed here in his first match. 6-2, 6-5, then against Boris Koltsov, and a 6-4 win against Madas Razmar. 140. The spell-binding end to that first round match saw him complete 305 in six darts, going 160 by hitting the ball, then treble 20, then 99. Another ball, and then taking out the remaining 145. Stunning stuff from the Spaniard. A easy three. A slight slip there, but he's still on a two darter if he gets the chance. Jose looking at treble 20 for the ball. That's high and wide. 43. And not very handsome. Double 19 to level. 60. He's one of those awkward doubles. Will he be punished? Twenty for the bull. Bullseye. Sixty. Well, he threatened it. Naguera has a choice here. Does he stick with the original plan? He does, but he seems a bit scared of this. Floating the darts Game somewhere shot. around the double, and then eventually, with the last one, he finds it to level up. One hundred and twenty-one. We did see a, a mass exodus of the top stars in the second round here, as the likes of Michael Van Gerwen, Rob Cross, Gary Anderson. One hundred and eighty. And yesterday's runner-up, Christoph Ratajski, were all beaten. We've just seen in the third round. Sixty. The likes of Michael Smith. Daryl Gurney follows suit. Smith beaten by Jermaine Watermana. Oh, never mind that. Look at this. 180. That is back to back 180s from Jose de Sousa, who, if he gets the sums right, is on a nine data. 41. Could go anywhere, a number of ways. It's a conventional way. Is it treble 19? It is for double 12. 117. Oh, the double for the perfect leg. It would have been another highlight for the ever-growing reel that this player is producing in a matter of months. A missed double 12 for a nine dart leg. 100. Oh, that would have been incredible. Same target, he was a fair way off in truth and he's a fair way off that as well double three now this could get ridiculous 80 99 well he was on a nine data now he's got no it's not in Jose <laughs> stay there stay there mate one, double one. Game shot. A nine dart leg potentially finished in the madhouse. He actually missed a double 12 for a nine darter in Gibraltar in the European Tour event last week as well. It's threatening, he's such a good player. 119. Had that fabulous run where he picked up his first title, but he's certainly proving that that was not a flash in the pan. This is a guy who's worked for a quarter of a 100. century to earn his spot as a professional player on the tour. He 
missed out at Q School at the start of last year by one point. 99. Came through this season and boy has he grabbed his opportunity with both hands. You won't see many people bully Gerwin Price, but that's exactly what he did when he won his title back in September. 59. An 8-1 victory in the final. Having already had a taste of a decider when he lost to James Wade earlier this year. 140. Forty-one, but it is very exciting to watch. In fact, I think he is kind of accidentally sixty-eight left. Yeah, the most watchable player on tour right now. One hundred and twenty-nine. Well, there you see him hit one hundred and twenty-nine to leave double seven. Ninety-one. misses that and leaves himself 12. in the madhouse again okay who's it 15. are we going to see back to back legs one on double 15. one Ooh, very high no score Not too low now can Naguera produce a huge checkout? He's 158 points behind in this leg. 85. He manages to take a chunk out of it. D'Souza needs to be perfect here. No score. Once again, he's dragged the dart inside, and that's the trouble when you leave that double. Treble 17. 18 would leave him on tops. 40 left, yeah. 55. Can't quite nick the leg. Game shot. Well, in the end, he does make it back to back legs one on double one. It all started when he had 68 remaining and threw it treble 18, the last dart in hand, to leave himself. 100. Double seven. It's remarkable the amount of stuff that he's achieving. 45. Can't wait to see him at some of the TV tournaments because this is a man, yes, he's 45 years of age, but he's playing in his first season as a professional and he's kind of got 41. 10 years of experience in 10 months. Fifty-nine. Turning into one of the stories of the season. One of the players of the season. Seems a long time since he lost that grueling Ali Pali fashion against Michael Barnard, whose fortunes have been quite the opposite in 2019. And of course... Fifty-seven. Jesus Naguera will be looking to follow suit when he appears in every Players' Championship event for the next couple of years. And we'll already 100. be going into those knowing that he can live with the best in the world because he's found himself in the last 16 of a tournament which... 43. ...the vast majority of the world's top players. 100. Stronger leg from him, but it's been a, a scrappy one from De Sousa. 43. Double 12. Double 6. 78. Well, are we going to see the maximum amount of legs finishing on double 1? He could end up there in a moment himself now. 125. Well, that was the wrong choice as well, but he got away with it. 
game shot. It's double three this time. The wins a leg for Naguera. Really is something that, as entertaining as it is for us, that perhaps Pure Sergi Sousa needs to have a look at because even in that last visit, had he not found 180. the 180, he would have left himself on 169. Found three trebles there, however. 58. Is he going to have another attempt at the perfect leg? Oh, just above the wire. 100. The dart number five. We have seen a nine darter here this afternoon. Mensa Suljevic, 180, 180, treble 20, treble 15, double 18. 43. Speaking of Mensa Sulevich, he's just beaten Peter 85. Wright. So book his place in the quarterfinals. He'll take on Jermaine Watermana there. A 6-2 success for the gentle. Gerwin Price is also there. He's edged past 60. the ferret Johnny Clayton, 6-5. So we will be seeing Mensa Sulevich against Jermaine Watermana here on this 96. stream after this match. That's the quarterfinal match choice. So over on stream one with Dan Dawson, you'll have the option of watching Richie Edhouse or Glenn Durant against Ian White or Conan Whitehead. White is 4-1 down in that match against Whitehead right now. Game shot. As De Sousa goes 4-2 up in this one. One hundred and twenty-eight. Fifty-eight. Sixty. One hundred and forty. Forty. Just starting to struggle a little bit, and he hasn't really in this match showcased the kind of stuff that he's produced previously. One hundred. And an average of ninety-eight in each of his wins against Boris Coltsov and Madas Razma, but he's. 20 points worse off. 95. Here's us Naguera in this one. And D'Souza is not having to get 40. out of first gear, really. He has had a stunning victory on the way, 107 and a half against Stephen Burton. 58. And he beat him 6-1 in the second round. Make no mistake, should he progress, get through to the last eight here, he's 97. in with as big a shout as anyone to take today's title. Can he get past that? Well, he could get past it, but not into the target that he 60. wanted. And he also de Sousa looks at 66 to break here. 16 for double top for a 5-2 lead. Game shot. There it is. That could be the killer blow. Because Portugal's premier player will now throw for a place in the last eight. 140. This is as far as he has got in any tournament since he won Players' Championship 23. 100. One hundred and seventy-seven. One 
100. One hundred and forty. One hundred and forty. This for the match then. Double top. Game shot. And another and very, very convincing win.